Hey, Molasses, up here. Fire escape's shakier than it used to be. Careful on the way up. So, this is why you wanted to meet here. Almost bailed you took so long. Give me a hand, it's stuck. <sighs> Time capsule seen better days. You remember the combination? Yeah, it's, uh... Man, it's, uh... You kidding me? Y'all gotta start remembering this code. Not always gonna be around to tell you. We'll remember, we'll remember. We'll remember, yeah, yeah, good. Now, uh, what are you gonna put inside this bad boy? Secret time capsule. Only Miles and I know. Boom, that's right. Keep it secret, keep it safe. Hey, Rick, you gonna take that job at Roxxon or what? <laughs> Why? You gonna take it if I don't? Maybe. Waiting to see the offer. Okay, competition, eh? Well, they're talking a good game. Want me to uh, <clears throat> lead their clean energy group. You know me. Clean, clean power, power save, save the, the world. world. <laughs> I love my nerdy fan club. Oh, speak of the devil. Rocks on. Back in a sec. You remember the code, right? Um. The Fibonacci sequence. Nice. Our award. I mean, our energy converter was pretty fire. Truth. You think it's still on display at the Science Center? Hope so. Wow. Look at this. Goober Central. Rig looking suave as ever, though. Yeah. Something going on with him? You guys fight or something? No. No fight. Finn. It's fine. Why do we really lose touch? Crap, now I'm late. I gotta go. Hey, I feel like we both have stuff we're not sharing. Next time we hang, no secrets. Okay? Yeah. Mm, maybe. If you're on time. See you soon, short stuff. You know I'm taller than you now, right? Not in here. Explosion. A bridge moves. Weapons discharged amid rush hour traffic. Thank heaven no lies. But we can't be that lucky every time. What if this is it happened a few days later, during the so-called storm of the century. Five o'clock news won't stop jabbering about. From disaster to bedlam in a snap. Now there's plenty of blame to go around, including to these underground thugs. That being said, it'd be a dereliction of my duty if I didn't point out that the underground's attack was little more than an armored car heist until Spider-Man's bratty little sidekick showed up and tried to handle things. All on his own. What happened next? He made things worse. This new kid wants to be Spider-Man? Well, he sure is living up to the name. Speaking of which, anyone notice that the original Spider-Man hasn't been seen lately? I think... Going through a rough patch since Roxxon was in. I hope that having Spider Man on their side gives them a little hope this holiday season. Listeners, give Spider Man a shout out for me on your favorite social and donate to Rio Morales' campaign if you're into saving the neighborhood from corporate takeover. And remember, 
Clean your dryer filter after every load. Goodbye. Jackpot. Capsule's in that tree planter. He used to sneak up here to stargaze. Never saw one until the 2016 blackout. Then, wow, sky was full of them. I was on the train home, and Spider-Man was in my car. No way. These... Spider-Man? Not one of the dudes from Times Square? It had to be. Hey, the app saying there's a helicopter flying around like it's possessed. Finn love coming here. So it's a good place to think. With the help of Spider-Man, I had to pinch myself when I said that. Okay, so the Underground used to have a major grudge against the inner demon, and not for the reasons everyone else did. This was before the Tinkerer took over, and way before anyone knew who the Underground was. They wanted respect, not a street crush, not a whatever you want to call it. So they went after the biggest, baddest jerks in town, the inner demons. Until Martin Lee, the demon's leader, went to prison. Then the underground needed a new target. Enter the Tinkerer. Hey Miles, uh, I think our call dropped. Anyway, coming in to pour coffee soon? <laughs> Good thing I've been practicing my form. You still got a Wednesday afternoon shift? I'm meeting up with Haley that day. Maybe we can both stop by. Ah, kid, I see how it is. Trying to look good for the ladies. I approve. Yeah, I'll keep the spot warm for you both. See you next Wednesday. See you then. Right. Just picked up a car chase. Robbers won't be expecting you. I'll have to sneak around those workers to grab that capsule. Bury the pipes this week, dig them up next week. Prison city planners never make up their minds. Capsule in one of these pipes. Can't remember which one. There we go. Line wasn't this nice when we hit a capsule in the wall here. Yeah, time flies. Hey, I got word there's an out of control helicopter in your area. to spend all summer skating here. We should come back more often. After we won that...
The book capsule. It used to be a dump. But I'm glad they cleaned it up a little. Time capsule should be out on those pylons. Finn was fearless hopping off those back in the day. Hey, pod listeners. This episode is part of my series, Underground Exposed. Spider-Man recently took down an underground hideout in Greenwich. We found evidence that the underground went to war against the Magia. Yes, that Magia. The old school crime family. Back then, there was no tinkerer, and the underground considered themselves a new class of criminal. The young Mafia. They wanted respect, so they went after the crime family. The conflict sputtered out when Hammerhead staged the full-on takeover of the Magia, which indirectly saved the underground. Thanks for that. Loading. 